An electrochemical cell is based on the following two half reactions, and we want to compute the cell potential. So I look at that and I notice that's great, they've already got the oxidation, the reduction, so I know I can find the E of the cell, which is equal to the E of the oxidation plus the E of the reduction. However, in order to do that, technically what do I need here? I need for the electrons to cancel one another out. Is that important? Yes, ultimately is because we're going to have to use the Nernst equation and we're going to have to know the number of moles of electrons. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can say, I know that I need to multiply this second equation by two. So the first one would have two electrons and then the second one would have two electrons. The other way to do it is to actually show multiplying it, multiplying it all out. You can pick your battle. You want to do that, great. You don't want to do it, you can make the little notes like I have over here on the side. So what does that mean? Well, that means then I can go find those values on my chart and if I recall, remember I have the oxidation and I'm also going to have the reduction, but the oxidation is just the minus of the reduction. So this will be the minus of, and I go look up nickel and I get minus 0 0.23. And then I'm going to add to that what? Well, I've got this one down here. I've got the water thing happening again, and I've got one point zero zero. So then this just becomes 1.23 volts. But it says it wants as the cell potential. Well that's the Nernst equation and what does it say? Well it says the cell potential is equal to the E naught of the cell minus 0 0.0592 over the number of moles of electrons times the log of Q. Yep, Q came back to kill us, didn't it? But that's okay, because we know how to do it, because we've already done it. So I'll need to plug in what we know. Well, we just found this E of the cell, so that's 1.23 volts minus the constant. Remember, that's also in volts. We said there's how many moles of electrons? We did that right here, so there's two. And then we need to find the log of. Now, how do we find Q? Well, remember, Q is the products over the reactants. So here's where, if you didn't necessarily multiply everything out, you could potentially get the incorrect answer. So we should get 2.0 squared times 2.0 over 0 0.010 squared times 1.0 to the fourth. Now where did I get those concentrations? That's what's in these little parentheses. So that's really important that you note that those are provided to you in the problem. And when I did the calculation, I got 1.08486.8532, nope, 36. And I only want how many significant figures? Well, I want three. So I just get 1.08 volts. Now somebody might say right here I only had two. That's fine as well, but technically remember when we add straight down, we add to the last place they have in common for significant figures, so the answer is actually three.